Hi, my friends of Hatari Warrior Design. We are going to do a tutorial about how to interpolate values, interpolate elevation values on model views. So, what we are going to do? Let me show you. Um, so, is how. Um, let me do what to do. Da, 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 da. How to interpolate interpolate elevation values on models? Um, in fact, it's not interpolation value. It's just is this tutorial is about this tutorial. This tutorial is about the interpolation. Inter Population of any variable. Mm -hmm. Any variable. What we are going to do is to we are going to create a model. Create a model. We are going to set the model. Set a default elevation. Set a default elevation. And from this the default elevation we are going to apply um, we are going to apply points and then we are going to discuss why to use points rather than polygons because on this points elevation points yeah it's really okay okay cool so we open a new model news, model news, model news. Cool. Okay, we open a new model flow model. Next. Uh, we specify we wanted not such a coarse uh, grid. Otherwise, we are going to use it 60, 60, 60, 60, yeah, 60 by 60, oh, 50 meters. So we are going to, well, we are going to, to model an island of 300 meters. Maybe I need, I will need it, maybe 100 meters, okay? In, in this island, we are going to use it model elevation and stop. We are going to use it just two layers. And okay, this is good. The first, we are going to use an upper aquifer of 10 meters and then a lower aquifer. So let's see that this is upper sun. Uh, let's see that this is quaternary. And this is sand. No, this is rock. Weather rock. But no, yes, yeah, well, rock. Weather rock. Okay. Uh, our origin will be a one thousand times one thousand zero without. Uh, some vertical, we need some vertical acceleration because our model is like uh, wider, it's 100 meters by 20, so it will be maybe with a vertical acceleration. It's just to see, it's not that our our formulas will be, our elevation will be distorted. Distort. We wait, and wait. Okay, this is our. Look, it's very thin, so we, I think that we need a review. Vertical exaggeration, let's see, let's put 20. Oh, no, maybe even more. Vertical exaggeration, let's put 30. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that we are doing... No, let's put it 50, okay? Because... We need this more wider, wider.
Okay. So this here, here with this option here, you centralize. Okay. So what do we want to do? I'm going to draw an object. Let's see here. I'm going to draw an object. This is the island. Okay. This is the who's this strand? The shoreline. 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 Okay. And in this, we are not going to set the value of the closers. We could do. Yeah, we could do. We could do that. Yeah. No, we are going to set the value of intersected cells. Yeah, because we wanted to to do an equation. Mm -hmm. I don't want to confuse you between close and intersected. Okay. Uh, the number of set of formulas is zero because what we are going to do is just an interpolation. Okay. We go to data sets, require the definition, and we say model top. A model top on the interpolation of the model top, this will be zero because it's actually on the shoreline. The shore shoreline shoreline. Okay. So okay. We don't need to do anything more on this. Okay, we do this here. Nothing will happen because this because actually your actually your elevation is zero, so nothing will happen. I think I don't like it here. Then I'm going to apply here um, like an like an line of elevation of ten meters. Yeah. Uh, I forget, so this is elevation of centimeters. Okay. Object line, let's say, let's put it. It's very important to change colors. Yeah, because otherwise everything will be black. Zero, then we go to the model top, and this for us is 10 meters. And we put it OK. And then we go back to our, and this will be. Well, okay, and then what we know is that the the depth of C in the extension of this model is actually ten meters. So the floor, the sea floor, is actually ten meters below. So what we are going to do is. Uh, we can do it as a uh, let's put let's let's see if this works. And this is another value, let's see this one. Zero formulas, model top, and this is minus. Uh, no, let's say minus five is actually very shallow, but because like otherwise we yeah let's say that it's minus five. Okay. Ah, okay. Sorry, sorry. We I have committed that is set value of set. Set values by interpolation. So, yes. Nothing will happen, so I will just. Uh, yeah. Okay. I will hide this one. I will check all my. my so, everything is no set value of intercepted cells, no set value by interpolation. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, you have to, to do it for. Hide this one. This one is set value by interpolation. Every all of the, the three ones are by interpolation. If you want to see the whole, the you have made three objects. If you apply this one, you will come here and then you will say, this is the elevation of the meters. It's by interpolation. This one is the object. This is the C floor. Let's see. C and it's actually as well by minus five, yes. And the shoreline is 
as well by interpolation. Everything is by interpolation. Okay? So, and the elevation will be of 10, the sea floor will be of minus 5, and the shoreline will be of 0. Okay. Close. But, and what is more important is nothing has happened. I mean, what, what you will need. So, if you go to this, and then if we, if I show this, I mean, I, here I will need 10 meters, here I will see 0, and here I will see like minus 5, but nothing happens. Why? Because you go to data, the data sets require layer definition, and you define that this is defined by interpolation. That's what you need. And we can use uh, filter surface. Apply. Close. And then you see. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Okay. What you are seeing is that actually this is 10. Uh, no, this is actually 17. 10 is here. 0. It should be, I mean, let's, let's put it here. This should be well two, and this should be minus five. Okay, what you have is really a good, a good start. What you will need, what you will need is that actually whether you like in order to improve this, like I can put another, like I say, well. I put one like this here 17, but maybe on my records I have only 15, so I put another cell here. Or like I, like you say, minus 5, let's say, I'm going to put it there. Yeah, minus 5, minus 5. This is quite okay. I, I don't recommend it. Uh, like I, what I would do at at the end is just to just to decrease this maybe to 15 because I see that maybe 17 meters is not well 17 it's not that bad but I wanted some less I, I wanted to have more control so I will I just take out the C floor and then I insert another just yes, to repeat the procedure, so and this is we will be elevation 15 meters, and this will be offset value of main clock intersect no zero, and with zero it appears set value by interpolation. Ah, that's why I I couldn't do it at the beginning. Set value by interpolation zero. I change the colors colors. I put it. And then I go to data set mode flow 15. Okay, I do it okay. And since I have already put it set by the interpolation zero. Yep. Mm -hmm. It actually let me check if it has made the change. This is working, sorry. Let me check it again because I don't see that this is so value of interpolation, elevation 15 meters, elevation 15 meters. Ah, okay, I will do a trick here. This is by interpolation methods. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Okay. Um, my trick here is that maybe this is line is actually 15 meters, but I wanted that the top will be 15 meters. So I will do uh, like what I could do. I could I could move it. Yes, I will delete this by pressing the del key. And 
Do you see that this is changing? Do you see by changing the vertex as well as the interpolation is changing? Okay. Well, we have maybe we have decreased this from being 17 to being oh, okay. Do you see on the oh sorry sorry? Maybe you don't see this. But on this part, on this part, it's actually give the elevation, so it's 15.5, something like that. 15.5, 15. Okay, so it's already there. Okay, I hope that this tutorial will have helped you in when you wanted to define some geometries and then maybe even more like what you have done to, to the elevation will be helpful when you wanted to define um, and all about the conditions, research, about transpiration, and so on. Please follow and support us by your sharings and your comments and your good questions and questionnaires, and like by sharing on the net on the social networks. That is very helpful for us to live. Yes, because we are really passionate about water resources and numerical modeling. So if you share our knowledge. Um, more people will know it, and uh, we can. We will be more more motivated to do more more tutorials. Okay, follow us by Hatari Water, Twitter Hatari Water, Facebook Hatari Water. Follow, follow us by this YouTube channel, and we hope we can give you good information on water resource modeling for the next time. Okay, my name was Solomon Toya. If you wanted to do a specific tutorial and if we can help you, I mean if we really can help you about something, this is my email. Okay, so just drop me an email. Okay, so see you on the next tutorial. Bye bye.